Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a really special one. I'm super excited. I have to thank Joe from Joe's Arcade and Beer Reviews for this one. Um, I wasn't able to get a can, so he was generous enough to send one to me along with other, a couple other beers I'll be reviewing. So please check out his review and his channel of this beer. Uh, there are actually three other reviewers that have reviewed this beer along with Joe, including Eric, Nick, and Nathan. I'll post you guys a link to those reviews if you want to see four more reviews of this beer. And uh, yeah, super pumped. Uh, this is... Uh, really hype beer. This is In Perpetuity from Treehouse, 6.7% ABV IPA brewed with Citra and Nelson. Uh, it is brewed for the first anniversary between Nathan the brewer and Lauren who actually also works at the brewery Pouring Growler. So um, thank you guys so much for the amazing beer and amazing service that you guys uh, offer to the craft beer community. Um, this is super hyped, yeah, really, really highly rated. One, uh, one of the highest rated IPAs from Treehouse, one of the highest rated beers from Treehouse. Um, had some technical issues, so I just poured it out of the glass, uh, poured it out of the can into the glass. I haven't even gotten an aroma out of it, but let's look at that color. <laughs> Pours out in this like, golden orange color, but in the glass, what is that color? That's insane. That looks like, it also reminds me a little bit of green and how ridiculously hazy it is, uh, but it has this like really deep orange color. So it's like a little bit like Julius and Green combined in the appearance. Um, just look at that color though, it's absolutely insane. Um, that is nuts. So let's get the room on this. Oh wow, that's awesome. Oh wow, you certainly get the Nelson. Up front it's passion fruity, peachy. Um, in the back end you get this kind of like, uh, it's like white grapey. It's like, it's a little vinous. It has a little bit of that uh, vinous note from the, the, the grape stem, white grape. Oh man, a little bit of that like juicy fruit bubble gummy, like tropical bubble gum thing, tropical. Um, there was a, yeah, like one of those bubblicious flavors that was really intensely tropical, like peach candy, uh, mango candy, passion fruit. And then Nelson's like underlying that kind of uh, quality. So it's like another layer plus uh, along with that tropical juiciness. It smells super like just fresh and intense and just, oh man. Yeah, I want to say the Nelson's pretty dominant on that nose. Cheers. Oh, dude, that's insane. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> wow. Man, I'm so happy to have this right now. <laughs> yeah, this is insane. Oh, my God. Have to say things um up front he reminds me of reminds me of uh present moment yeah for some some reason reminds me of present moment i'll post you guys a link to that yeah it reminds me of, like present moment turned into an ipa really interesting wow so up front um just passion fruit passion fruit peaches um just really juice a good amount of juiciness Along with that kind of, again, that like tropical bubble gummy, bubblicious, um, uh, juicy fruit kind of flavor that uh, a Treehouse has. I always love when the Treehouse IPAs have that note, and this one has a pretty uh, predominant. A little bit of like white bready malt in the middle, but then it drags on with like the drying and like almost like a, a, a grassiness of citra, but then also moving on with the um uh the, the nelson yeah the, the nelson really comes out really makes the beer bone dry almost like a white wine which nelson has sometimes it's like tangerine like juicy juicy peaches and orange up front and then it has this really wonderful kind of like green note um this is very much familiar with treehouse green which is my favorite ipa and it's dry and like almost slightly resiny and herbaceous. And it just leaves a kind of like a really wonderful, like drying light bitterness on the back end. Boy, I just crushed cans of this. Um, absolutely amazing. People write on uh, what this beer is like. It has like, Nathan said it correctly. It has like uh, Julius and Alter Ego up front. And then on the back end, it has that kind of like green kind of note. It's like an amalgamation of all those three IPAs. Pretty good, yeah. uh, pretty good, um, um, you know, point to mention that. It is like those three beers combined. 
absolutely insane. Wow. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Also reminds me a little bit of Society and Solitude. Which one? Is? Society and Solitude 4 in an IPA form. Yeah. Reminds me of that beer too. Because you get that juiciness up front, intense juiciness, a little bit of kind of like chewy kind of malt to, to, to give the beer a creamy, creamy mouthfeel. Uh, low amount of carbon, carbonation, really soft beer. And then on the back end, you get this wonderful kind of drying. It's a little bit herbaceous. It's a little bit, yeah, just nice and dry. Um, Nelson is not too predominant on this beer, I'd say. Uh, I would say it's mostly the citra that I'm tasting. Because it's so pungent up front. And the back end is really nice and subtle. And the Nelson's not really showing itself too much. Yeah. Oh, that's freaking awesome. Um, yeah, the, the analogies are all there. You know, it's like present moment turned into an IPA. It's like a combination of Julius Alter Ego and Green. It's like a single IPA version of Hill Farm Society and Solitude 4. And these are all phenomenal beers. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I want to give this the, the, the big number. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Um, 100 plus out of 100, guys. 100 plus out of 100. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, where's my thing? There you go. Let's grab that. There you go, guys. Oops. I don't want to know. 100 plus out of 100. Um, freaking insane. Uh, this is, you know, um, for me, probably the second best IPA that I've had from uh, Treehouse. I want to say this is right under green or right near green. I would probably, I definitely prefer this over Julius. I'm, by the way, a strong uh, proponent of the green camp, uh, you know, to Julius lovers whatever i'm a green fan it goes green then this and then you know all the other amazing beers um haze i guess i, I don't know if i'm including double ipas whatever i'm just talking about ipas right now uh you know green's my favorite ipa i'd say this is just right there i actually don't know which one i prefer right now don't know which one i prefer so there you go this is like one of the best beers from treehouse um it's up there with my favorite ipa of all time which is green so it's either this or that. They're neck and neck. I don't care. Uh, 100 plus out of 100. Uh, this beer is absolutely insane. Um, I mean, I wish I could just drink this like all the time. I, I wish I could drink like, you know, a billion cans of this. So thank you so much, Joe. Uh, I had to drop the hundred, you know, hundreds out of 100. Um, 100 plus out of 100. By the way, I will say all the other four reviewers that I will post a link to also gave 100 out of 100. So I'd be really weird if I didn't. Not that they influenced me. Um, I mean, I, I don't really care what their rating is. This is, for me, this is like one of the best IPAs ever. Huh. Oh. And as, as it slightly warms up, you get a little bit more longing of the tropical flavors. It's, yeah, th this is awesome. Um, I, it's, it's, it just reminds me of green a little bit. It's, it's got this juiciness up front, which I really very much like, but then it fades away and it leaves this awesome, like lingering kind of finish. Um, I might, I might say I'd like the finish on green a little bit more, so maybe it goes green then this by a little bit, but whatever, we're picking at straws right now. Uh, ding, 100 out of 100. Um, this is freaking amazing. So thank you so much, Joe. 100 plus out of 100. I'm gonna stop blabbering and enjoy this. Until next time, guys, cheers, later.